So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's route we're actually doing a loop from Lancaster up through Halton over towards Kirby Lonsdale and then we're going to go up towards Sedba, jump on this lovely road I'm on just currently which is the uh, road over towards Garsdale and the Hawes. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel and you're watching, appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe and give me a like. I notice on the channel was 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. Yeah, I really appreciate it guys if you can hit that uh, subscribe button and give me a like on the videos. Okay, so let's get into the uh, the route. So we've got the scenic app running and if you want to go down in the description below you'll find a link to the route. If you're up this way and you want to do the same route, click on that link. So we're just coming into Halton and what we do when we get to the top of this road there's a little mini roundabout and we're just going to bear kind of straight on really just here following this uh, blue Nissan Qashqai if that's how you pronounce it and then this is a uh, little unknown road really but uh, I think is a better road than the Caton Road and this takes you over towards Kirby Lonsdale quite fast and smooth and free running once we get uh, out of the village so another beautiful day again good to be out on the bike temperatures about 20 degrees so summer's finally here and today I'm actually testing out the the new beeline from Triumph the little uh, heads up display you can see just there I'll show you that shortly and another little item that I purchased so that I can control my Insta360 camera a little bit easier uh, if any of you have the Insta360 ONE R you'll notice that it's quite difficult to switch on and off when you've got gloves on so the remote control that I bought for the Insta360 I think it's called a uh, Insta Roadie you can just see it just here goes on the handlebars nicely but it isn't IP rated so it's not waterproof and it's a good job I don't go out in the rain that often but it suits me down to the ground because I can't actually get my glove in to uh, to turn this camera on only downside with country lanes you get the farmers and the farm vehicles out but hopefully he's turning left shortly let's see if not there's plenty of road up ahead to uh, to overtake so I'll let him turn left out of the way and then we can carry on along this wonderful road. The only other thing you've got to watch out for is horses really along this road before you get to Kirby Lonsdale. Now when I purchased the V-Line Moto or the Triumph version of it, if you watched the last video you'll understand why I bought the Triumph version. And the main reason was that it has two year warranty compared to the Beeline one. But one of my concerns was, is it visible enough at a quick glance? Because it is quite a small screen. So I can tell you, having used it for the last few miles now, that it's very visible. In fact, I put the backlight on thinking it was going to make it more visible, but it's not. For some reason, I don't know what lens they've put over the top of this. But basically, when there's uh, sunlight, you can actually see it better. So I'll be doing a video on that little device shortly once I've tested it out thoroughly. But so far it's telling me I've got 5.4 miles until my next turning. The dot tells me that I'm going to be turning right and the actual arrow that you can see just there tells to go straight on. At a glance I know I've got 5 miles left before my next turning and it's going to be a right hand turn. Now what I did, I actually went on to the Beeline app on my mobile phone. I planned the route this morning just really by pressing the screen. Picked a nice loop, turned on the little heads up display, pressed go and it's all plumbed in and taking me the route I want. So very, very easy to operate. I think something like this, if you use sat navs generally day to day or if you're doing any touring, it's a lot better than having your mobile phone sat on here. Obviously this thing lasts about 30 hours from charging. Yeah, I just think it's better than a sat-nav on a phone. So we're just coming into Arcombe village and just the other side of the village is where Jim Bowen from Bullseye used to live. Lovely little village. And then just round the, uh, the corner just here over the railway bridge 
Just down on the left is the home of Jim Bowen's family. Just there. So I'm just going to pull over on the left here and then I can show you the beeline and the new remote that I've put on the bike. What a lovely day. Okay, so what I've done is... Um, I'll go around the other side, you can't see from here. So you can see just on here, so we've got the little beeline module just here. And uh, to take it off, you just twist it and uh, it disconnects. Like I say, this is the Triumph one, so you've got the Triumph logo on the back. Uh, but it's a full metal housing, feels really sturdy. And then I've ordered this little device here, which is the handlebar mount. I just put it on the, uh, the bars and uh, basically when you want to put it on, you just uh, twist it and lock it into place. Now, as you can see on here, you've got the uh, 0 0.9 miles before I turn right. So the dot's telling me I'm turning right. The top little uh, notches are actually my whole journey from start to finish. And then the big arrow tells you which way to, uh, to go at any time on the road. Other things that it's got, uh, we've got miles per hour. So it'll tell me my, my speed. Destination, um, so the loop is 60.5 miles, and then uh, the trip I've done 10.9 miles currently. And then you've got the, uh, the time, the trip, which is current. Also the battery life of your phone, and also of this little module. Uh, backlight, just at the top there, that's the, uh, the Beeline Moto. So I'm quite happy with that. The other thing I put on the bike, like I mentioned, was the uh, remote control for the Insta 361R. Basically that's because I can't get my fingers in the top of it to keep switching it on and off. So basically what I can do is switch it on and record just by hitting the red dot. And now, as you can see, it's recording. And uh, then I can just press the button again and uh, it switches off. <laughs> So we're just coming into Whittington, another nice little lovely village up this way. And the beeline's telling me I'm 200 yards turning right. 100 yards turning right. And just here the arrow is pointing right, so I'll follow this round. And then I've got 1.3 miles for my next turning. So we're just coming up to the A65 here. You can go left for Kendall or right for Skipton. And as you can see, the beeline is saying go right. Actually slightly back on ourselves, which is correct because the road bears left just there. All good. But there's a few bikes at Devil's Bridge today. Plenty of uh, swimmers and people enjoying the sun down by the river today. And as you can see, Absolutely tons of bikes here enjoying the uh, the roads today. But we're not going to stop there. A little bit too packed for me. We're going to head on towards Sedba. And this road is uh, a real gem. As long as you've not got little cars on the wrong side of the road like you just saw. Petrol station on the right just here, open today. Sometimes it's closed on a Sunday though. On oh, the pheasant on the left there, nice pub, all back open again. Must admit it's lovely to see pubs open again. I think we'll start to have some early evening summer rides out to the, the pub for a tea and uh, a shandy. Certainly missed that last year. So you've got a, uh, a few roads off to the right, small little roads, and they head over towards that hill of Barben over there. Now I remember years ago, I'm not sure whether they still have it, in fact it's probably signposted here, it is Barben, one and a half miles. So they used to have a hill climb uh, for cars and also motorcycles. It used to be a really, really good event, so if anyone knows if they still run them, let me know, it'd be good to uh, try and get to one of those. And also the Leighton Hall, 
hill climb should be coming up. There's no reason why that couldn't go ahead near Carnforth. So yeah, I'll try and get to that if I can. So I need to stop talking and get past this little courser. Plenty of overtaking places down these roads. So a few things coming up on the channel. One in a couple of weeks. We've got the Triumph Trident. And I've got a loaner of one of those for a week through its paces and see how it uh, performs. And then a couple of weeks after that, something else with Triumph. But I can't talk about it just yet. So stay tuned. All will be revealed. Oh, the dreaded uh, road resurfacing is going ahead on this short road up to Sedba. So if you do do the uh, the route within the uh, the week or two after this uh, video, just be careful. Although the surface looks to be uh, swept and clean, still a risk. I don't know why the councils are allowed to still do this. Because it's very... Oh, a little bit of a slip there. Very risky for motorbikes. Actually, this bit is worse. I can actually see the loose chippings in the middle where the tyres haven't been. Horrible stuff. A couple of gypsy caravans just there. I wonder whether it's going to be Appleby Horse Fair, if it's going to go ahead this year. I would imagine so. Ah, oh, this road surface is lethal. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, so I'd stay clear of this road, guys, for a few weeks. Absolutely madness. I did actually see this on one of the Facebook groups. Chip the road. Anyway, it's finished now. So yeah, it's about a three mile section that they've put the chip-ins down. A couple of girls there on the bikes. Nice to see more women riding bikes these days. I think there's a lot, lot more in the last few years. I think it's brilliant, absolutely wonderful. Even my, uh, my daughter, who's only 12 currently, said to me the other day, Dad, uh, when can we go out on the bike again? So I plan to take her on it next weekend, just for a little jaunt out. She said when she grows older, she wants a bike. Not gonna stop her. If she wants it, then uh, she can go ahead and, uh, well, she can ride this one, to be honest, eventually, because I have no intention of selling it. So a little beeline selling me 800 yards and there's a right turn. Now I do need to fill up with fuel at some point. I'm on about half a tank. I know there's a petrol station in Sedba and there's also one at Hawes. The one at Hawes is a lot smaller so I might just fill up with fuel on the uh, Sedba one. And I do hope they take Apple Pay that I can pay from my mobile phone because I've forgotten my wallet. Which is not great. So yeah, A684 towards Sedba. Or you can go left towards Kendall just here. So we're going to do a right. Yeah, so you've got DT Close petrol station just here on the right hand side. Not sure whether I just go ahead and risk it and try and fill up in uh, Ingleton. I think I'll probably be, uh, be okay. And I know the Ingleton uh, petrol station is quite a big modern one. So it'll definitely accept Apple Pay. So, just coming into Sedba, lovely town. Got a very, very good uh, private school in this uh, this town. Got a feeling it's a boarding school as well. Got a big spa on your left just there if you need to uh, stock up with any drinks or anything for your trip. Now, I think quite a lot of the people that watch my uh, videos have done these, these routes before. But saying that, on the uh, analytics, you've got about 70 five percent that are not subscribed to the channel so if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching the channel guys i uh, appreciate it if you could subscribe and uh, give me a like it all uh, all helps the channel so we're just going to do a left here where it says kirby stephen bruff and Hawes. there's a couple of routes you can take uh not to Hawes. you can go the route we're going which i'm going to go and take us to Hawes. Or if you want to go up towards Kirby Stephen, literally you just carry on on this road. Well, that's an awesome road that just goes over the mountains in front of us. So I don't think you can go wrong with any of the routes when you come up to the area we're in. They're all absolutely amazing roads. So just ahead we're going to turn right on the A684 towards Hawes and Garsdale. And this route, or this section of the route, is one of my favourites. It's it's just like a roller coaster, the whole road all the way up to Hawes. Just beautiful. And uh, when we get down the road here by the bridge, there used to be a little cafe or a van that used to pull up just around the corner here. Not there today. 
absolutely epic route. If you're up this way, or if you're not from up this way, you need to get yourself up here and check out these roads. And then this road brings you over the moors. What an absolute epic view of this area. Just beautiful. So we've got chippings again on this section of road. Hopefully it's only a, a short uh, area that they've done. Plenty of bikes. Oh, is it going to pull out? Getting the vistas and the viewpoint just there. Beautiful. But need to be a little bit careful because you've got sheep, as you can see, left and right here, all over the place and stone chippings on the road, so... I'm steering clear of those, I'm afraid. Like I say, I do hope it's only a few hundred metres more on the uh, stone chippings because this is such a beautiful, beautiful route. Popular with cyclists too. So, so far I'm really impressed with the Beeline navigation system. It seems to be doing what it says on the tin. It's just quite unique, isn't it? Just a little screen just sat there, out the way. Not too bulky. And of course it is IP rated, so it's fully waterproof. But it's just really handy, you know, if you stop going to a cafe, you can just twist it off and uh, put it in your pocket. I actually have a nice little uh, zip case that it goes into with a clip on it, so you can clip it on your belt or wherever. I'll show you that in the uh, the full review video of the item. And like I say, I got it with the handlebar mount, um, but it also has another mount, which I've actually attached to my, uh, my mountain bike, because on the Beeline app you can switch it between moto mode and bicycle mode for all the cycle routes which is brilliant, so I can just twist it off here, pop it on my, my uh, mountain bike and go and hit the trails which is fantastic absolutely beautiful scenery the road goes a bit twisty just through this section so uh, chances of getting past this car in front are pretty slim but then it opens up then we hit the roller coaster which is a uh, wider, more faster sweeping road so we should be able to get past shortly. But I'm in no rush, just enjoying the, the scenery and uh, the beautiful weather we've got today. Looking forward to uh, getting that Triumph Trident that Triumph of Cardling lent me a couple of weeks. I'll have it for a week, like I say, and we'll, uh, we'll get out and do as many miles as we can on it. Try and get a full, you know, review and feel for, for how it is on the road. From looking at it, I think it's a perfectly usable bike. I think it's stunning looking. I'm going to go into too much detail on, on thoughts. I'll do that in the videos. But yeah, be interesting to uh, to see how it is for a middle uh, middleweight bike. Okay, need to get past this dude. Got some other bikes behind me as well now. Guy behind me obviously knows the road a bit better than me. So I've got a Panagali. Not sure what the second bike is. No doubt there'll be a police camera van somewhere along the route today. I would imagine he's on the uh, the top route out of Hawes back over towards Ingleton. You normally get a van up there. But yeah, just look at the scenery guys. Look at the road. Lovely sweeping corners little bridges river next to the road just a stunning route one of my favorite favorite runs I see so many videos of bikes in London 
riding through the city and I kind of cringe at that. So the only tightish corner is this little bridge that you go over. So I'm not sure if you caught the last video from last weekend. I was up in the Lake District going through uh, Wasdale and up towards Waswater. Absolutely lovely route, so if you didn't catch that video I'll put a link to it just at the top of the screen just here. Uh, we're just going to turn right just here. If you carry on just there, you just come into Hawes. And then you've got the uh, Hawes Cafe on the left. I would probably say that this, this loop is the, uh, the best motorcycling roads that we have in the northwest. Just every road that you seem to take off these are beautiful. Depends what you want really. If you want single track over the mountains roads we've got those. If you want uh, fast sweeping roads like this we're on just now going over the top. So yeah something for everyone really. Bit of a mixture. When you get further along the road towards the Ribbles Head Viaduct you've also got a, uh, a burger van that always is there over the weekend to get refreshments and something to eat. Very popular route with bikers. And cyclists. But nice to see the single file. Spoke too early. These two there. At least they move to single file. Really? Good job. I checked my mirror, wasn't it? That was the uh, That was the Panagali that passed before. Just had to stop and take in the views. Absolutely splendid on the tops here. So also just down the road here, you've got a road that takes you left and then goes around the back of the mountain, takes you down towards Settle, and then in Settle Square you've got uh, the ye old Naked Man Cafe and uh, lots of places to, uh, to get some refreshments. That's also one of my favourite roads that goes down there. But we're going to head on past the viaduct and then over the top and drop down to Ingleton getting low on fuel, my uh, fuel light's flashing, so I've got about 30 miles left. It's a thirsty old beast, is the MT-10, as some of you know. So uh, yeah, we've got uh, about 3.7 miles to, uh, to get down towards uh, Ingleton. So there's the viaduct and the settled Carlisle Railway goes uh, over that and then just up along the uh, the road here on the left you'll have a burger van that I mentioned. Gets very busy with walkers up this area. Your tea and coffee, <coughs> an ice cream van, burger van just here. That's the road down to Settle. But we're going to take the uh, the one that goes over the top, past White Scar Caves, and also past the station end just on the right, just here. So we're just going to head left here down the A687 towards Burton in Lonsdale, and then uh, back down towards Lancaster. A little farm there, and a little sign saying eggs and a cool box. Nice to see farmers selling their local produce. There's one actually near me that uh, does the same. Basically, it's just up to you to put some money in the uh, the bowl, take 
like the eggs and uh, you can't beat farm fresh eggs rather than the supermarket crap that you get these days I must say the uh, the farm eggs do taste a lot better than the, the eggs you're getting supermarket which are uh, battery hens all uh, caged up so luckily for me the petrol station accepted Apple Pay so that was all good all full tank ready for the next ride been a cracking ride out one of my favorite routes so yeah if you're up this way it's worth uh, doing don't forget there's a link in the description below for the scenic app you can uh, export the file i believe out of there and uh, add it into uh, kalimoto and other sat nav applications so a683 just gonna go left here just over the bridge So thanks for tuning in guys, we're going to end the video just now, but uh, just remember all those 70% uh, that watch the videos and are not subscribed, then uh, appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that like button, it all helps the channel and appreciate your support. So have a great weekend, the rest of it, and uh, have a great week ahead. Take care guys, cheers. Very, very nice McLaren. It's like a matte orange.